Durham collapse against Middlesex in Collie's farewell. A topsy-turvy day at the Emirates Riverside saw Durham enter the day looking to build a large lead with the help of a Gareth Hart century. It ended with Middlesex in front and looking to set the hosts a huge target for victory with eight wickets still in hand. Gubbins could only add one run to his overnight total before being trapped LBW by Rushworth. Holden was next out to partner skipper Milan, but could only manage one run before being caught by Lees off a wood delivery, Middlesex sitting at 262 for four. The positive batting had disappeared for the visitors as White became Rushworth's second victim of the morning. When Collingwood claimed another farewell wicket in the form of Milan, Middlesex sat at 270 for six, their hopes of building a large second innings lead fading fast. With lunch on the horizon, the visitors managed to dig in, arriving at the break 316 for 6 with a lead of 127. Still a positive morning for Durham, with experienced heads in Rushworth and Collingwood making the breakthrough. The first serious action of the afternoon saw Harris duck into a short delivery from McCarthy and have to leave the contest injured. Anderson was next out and managed to find the boundary and quickly reached double figures. His innings came to an end on 34, bowled by Wood to leave Middlesex 328 for 7. Fuller was unable to help his side steady the ship, as he departed caught and bowled by Wood. The England fast bowler was looking in vintage form, as he bowled Harris's injury replacement Rayner for just 2 to leave the visitors 349 for 9. Wood completed his Pfeiffer as Murta sent his delivery into the hands of Rushworth. The innings break signalled T with Middlesex 355 all out. Durham's goal was 167 runs to claim a fifth win of the season. Durham's run chase was looking anything but comfortable when Murta trapped Lee's LBW with the hosts 27 for 1. Hart wasn't the man to fix things for the hosts, his innings coming to an end after just 14 runs caught behind by White off an Anderson delivery. The late session was turning into a nightmare for Durham as Richardson feathered a fuller ball to White behind the stumps. Collingwood was next out to the middle with a standing ovation in his final innings. He wasted no time finding the boundary off Fuller. Moments after a drink break and Collingwood was forced to bow out for the final time. Bowled by Anderson with Durham 67 for 4, the club's record run scorer departing the Riverside for the last time. The hosts were making a real meal of things as a miscommunication from Steele and Davies led to the latter being run out by Fuller. Durham 79 for 5 and 88 runs away from victory in real danger of shooting themselves in the foot. Steele was furious with himself after a late movement of his bat to a Bamba delivery was snatched by Rayner. Durham's almighty collapse looked to be coming to a quick conclusion as Wood miscued a drive off Bamba and picked out Rayner at slip to exit for a duck. Middlesex were now in the driving seat as a Murta bouncer clipped Salisbury and saw Rayner take his third catch in a row at second slip. Pointer managed to add a series of boundaries but it wasn't long before he joined the wave of wickets, Murta claiming his scalp and Durham on the cusp of another shocking defeat. The Durham capitulation was complete as Rushworth edged a fuller delivery to Gubbins. Middlesex somehow securing a victory by 57 runs after the hosts fell apart in one session. The visitors ending the season in fourth, Durham's disappointing final result leaving them eighth.